In this session on Project Accounting Suite by Third Way Business Systems, which extends the power of SAP Business One for professional services and project-oriented organizations, we're going to focus on project portfolio management. Specifically, as I log on as Charles Franklin, who's a project manager for OEC Computers, one of the first things I'm going to notice is that I'm directed immediately to the project portfolio screen. This provides Charles with an inventory of those projects that he's responsible for and a snapshot of how they're performing during their project execution. Here I can see I have a list of customer codes and, and project codes, so I can see what projects I have for what customers. I can also see how those projects are performing in the areas of gross margin, hours, costs, and revenue. I have full configuration of this screen using the standard SAP Business One form settings so that if I wanted to hide my gross margin, perhaps I wasn't interested in that, I can go ahead and do that type of thing. If I wanted to filter the results of which I'm looking at, so if I want to uh, take a look at, at those projects which have exceeded a cost of uh, perhaps $500 or a percentage of $500, I can go ahead and search for those, and I can actually take a look at what projects come up. As I take a look and want to do further research on this particular project, I have the opportunity to drill down into that project, which will bring me to the project summary screen. Again, this is bringing me down to my next level of detail and being able to analyze how this project is performing. Here I have the summary information in terms of hours, cost, and projected revenue. I can actually see what the, the cost records are for this particular project, showing me how the costs were recorded, whether they be time and expense reports, whether they be business one transactions, etc. I can also check on how my revenue was generated. And here I can see the invoices that have been generated for this particular project, complete with links back to the SAP Business One. As I take a look a bit further down into the project, I can take a look at the various elements of the work breakdown structure and see how those are performing. So here I have, again, that same cost and hours and revenue actual versus budget analysis so that I can really analyze that down at the detail level. If I want to run some reports, I can go ahead and right click right on this form. With the integration of Third Wave's Crystal Wave product, which allows for the publishing of reports on forms via a right click or user queries on a right click on a form, as well as its innovative methodologies for delivering content either via fax or email, I have this capability of being able to run reports directly from either SAP Business One forms or from user forms. Here I run a quick project analysis. It gives me a little bit more of the detail associated with this particular project. And here I can see the full work breakdown structure and how my budget versus actual analysis is running. For another look at the data of how this particular project is performing, I can run a dashboard. This dashboard report is going to give me the various elements of this project in terms of the components of cost in terms of how I'm performing on my percentage of total budget, how I'm performing in terms of my gross margin, uh, what my accounts receivable status is, and then again a summary hours, cost, and revenue budget versus actual. In keeping with the theme of having a project manager be able to do everything that they need to do from this one particular screen, we also have the capability of being able to go into project maintenance directly from this screen. Here we go into our project task maintenance using the right click key again or button to be able to navigate. And what you'll notice is, is a fully embedded user interface for purposes of maintaining projects. Here again we have the full work breakdown structure in more of a maintenance mode. So this is where we would actually go in to change our forecasts, change our, our budgeted, uh, budgeted aspects or elements of the project. This is also where I can go in and, and make changes to my tasks. Here as I drill down into the labor step two, I can see various elements of, of the information related to that particular task. Again, we'll cover task maintenance, project task maintenance in more detail in another session. But what we again have this capability of being able to do is run reports from this particular screen. So if I want to take a look at my project analysis or perhaps see a little bit more about the detail transactions associated with this project, I can go ahead and right click again 
this being made cap possible by Third Wave's Crystal Wave product. And then I can go ahead and, and select the date for which I want to run this report. So my date range will go for the month of August. And here I can see a, a very detailed report. Again, with the power of, of the crystal reports, I can, I can change this to, uh, to adapt to how I need it to look for my organization, as well as be able to export that report or publish it or email it in whatever way that I need to. So that pretty much concludes this session on project portfolio management, which really provides the ability for a project manager to review and analyze the performance of his projects through a single screen, be able to run reports, be able to get at project task maintenance, and be able to fully manage those areas of his responsibility.